in this video, we're going to show you the proper way to replace the batteries in the Hobo waterproof shuttle. Part number of that device is the UDTW-1. We would suggest you have a look at the manual. If you don't have a manual handy, you can always go on our website, onsetcomp.com, go to the UTW-1 page, and under documentation is the user manual. Have a look at that, and it explains all these steps in detail. The data is stored in the shuttle in non-volatile memory, so you don't have to worry about losing data by replacing the batteries. Um, if, the logger, or if the shuttle is still communicative, in other words, if you can still communicate with it, you probably want to offload the data before you uh, change the batteries. Obviously, if the batteries are dead, you can do it afterwards. You're not going to lose any data. You just have to make sure to relaunch that shuttle before you use it in the field again, and we'll show you how to do that. So the first step, we need to remove the USB cover and then remove the O-ring. We'll put this aside. And then you'll see that the cap has a little quarter turn lock on it right here. So you just want to turn that and then pop the cap off. Okay. Notice there's a, a spacer in here. If your, logger, if your shuttle doesn't have a spacer, it's an older model. And you can contact Onset if you want to get one. It keeps the board from sliding back and forth inside. Uh, actually, the newer ones, I think they fit a little tighter, so the newer ones may not have this included, but it was a, a retrofit. So to remove the PC board, you can see the PC board is in there. You just grab it by the USB cable. You want to touch metal if you're working in a dry environment before you do that, just to make sure you dissipate any static or any uh, buildup on your fingers of uh, static electricity. And we'll pull that board out. Here's our shuttle board, our two batteries. You want to make sure they haven't leaked. Sometimes if they sit in there a long time, alkaline batteries will leak if they're not changed regularly. We recommend you change these once a year. So we're gonna we have our new batteries here. We're going to pull the first one out, okay, and we want to make sure we're observing the correct polarity. So this is the plus side here, it's the plus side of the battery. Pop that in. You see those lights flash? My other battery is still in there. That's my uh, telling us that the power is going to recycle. This battery is still good, but we're going to replace it anyway. You want to replace both of them at the same time. And this, this side is the plus. So now when you put the new batteries in again, you will see those those shuttle uh, LEDs flash a few times. That tells us that it rebooted. We want to make sure that the optic end, these are the optic LEDs here, this is the USB end. We want to make sure this slides in so the board faces, notice that here's the, the half round part that goes onto the coupler that we make sure that's pointing down and then we just make sure that goes into the grooves and it should just slide right in just like that. And when it's in properly, you see there's our optic LEDs. They line up right here with the end of the shuttle. Just one other thing, once you have it back together, we talk about the optic end here. These are the optics that are used for many of the loggers. But right under here, there's a little square device. You can see a little window in this flat area. This is the, these are the optics that are used for the pendant loggers. So, um, it's important that you can see those here also. If you put the board in upside down, of course, it won't go in nearly as easily. So if you feel any resistance, you know you're probably putting it the wrong way, but you want to make sure the little square device is viewed here, and that allows us to talk to the pendants. The pendants slide in like this, and then the, the flat part on the pendant faces these optics, and they're able to communicate. When you go to reassemble the shuttle, we have the board back in. Here's the cap. If you have a little silicone grease, that would be good to put around that O-ring just to keep it lubricated. And we want to put this outer rubber seal on first. Put that on there. And then feed this in. Pop it into place. And give it a quarter turn, and it'll get nice and snug there. And now we're ready to launch that shuttle. 
now that we have our batteries replaced in our shuttle, we, we've got it connected to our USB port on our, on our computer. We have Hoboware Pro open. We see the waterproof shuttle is connected, and we want to say device, manage shuttle. Now, you notice we have some data files on here. Um, these say they have not been offloaded, so you'd want to offload these first uh, prior to launching your shuttle. The other thing, keep in mind that it, it says it's only off by 8 seconds, even though we changed the batteries. Um, I wouldn't. I would absolutely launch the shuttle after changing the batteries every time. It's extremely important you do that to make sure that your loggers will have the correct time and date stamp when you use the shuttle in the field. I don't care about this data, so I'm just going to launch shuttle. And there's the button right there. We press launch. It says some files have not been read out, so that's just a reminder. But now we are, we've relaunched our shuttle. We see that the files on the shuttle, we have zero of 63 banks. We have four megabytes free, which means we're all set. The, the shuttle header has been re, uh, rewritten. We also see under the shuttle clock, it says it matches the computer clock. So um, the shuttle clock is operated by those batteries that we replaced. So now that we see that it matches the computer and that we've relaunched that shuttle, we can be confident in using the shuttle in the field to offload our loggers and relaunch them with the correct time and date stamps.